Hi guys, um, I'm going to make a video on rigging shoes or high heels to a Genesis figure. Um, before we start, what you need to do is um, you need to prep your shoe in, in another program or in DAS depending on where you're getting the shoe from. And uh, you have to make sure that the shoe pose, the figure of pose, and the shoe matches up and lines up. And there's no poke through or anything anywhere. Uh, this way, that it'll have a clean fit when the when the process is done. So you got to make sure you get your uh, your OBJ set up and import it into Daz, and uh, have everything prepared. As you can see here, I have my pose and I have my shoe, and there's no real uh, poke through going on anywhere. So the first thing you want to do is um, you want to select the Genesis figure and you want to be on currently used. So then you're going to have to go to uh, preferences, show hidden properties. And inside the hidden properties, you're going to want to go to, you want to look for the PJ JCM foot down 75L and then PJ foot down 75R. You want to copy these settings. Well, you only need to copy one because they're, they're, they're both the same on both feet pose. Um, the foot pose that I'm using, I'm using heel, the heel pose, which is, uh, which is when you select the foot, you go to pose controls and you use the foot heel shoe. This is the best setting you want to use for making heel poses. Don't use the bend foot feature. Don't use, don't use this. Use this when you're making heels. So anyway, go back to the whole, the, 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 the Genesis figure. Select this, because you're going to need this in the future, in a few seconds. Go to the rigging tool, the joint editor tool. Right click on the bones, click edit, bake joint rotations. Now that you bake the joint rotations, the settings are gone. So now what you need to do is take the settings that you had before and paste it back in. Now you set it back. Now we're gonna use a transfer utility to transfer the shoe to the figure. So go to edit, go to object or figure, doesn't matter which one, transfer utility. Then in the seed item, select the Genesis figure. In the target scene item, select the boots or the shoes. And under the Genesis figure settings and item shape, use current. And the rest of the settings, you can leave it as it is and click accept. Now that the transfer utility is done, you want to go to your shoe and change the JCM foot down left and right to the zero. And then go to your Genesis figure and go to your foot heel shoe left and right. You want to turn that to zero. Now we're gonna start doing some weight painting. So you're gonna to wanna to go to your uh, weight brush tool. And you're gonna to wanna to go to your tool settings to, uh, tab bar. And inside tool settings, you wanna turn on use symmetry. And then you're gonna to wanna to go to select, give me a second. You want to go to select, right click on the toes and select left toes. You got to be on the shoes, not the, uh, the figure. So on the left toes, you want to select left metatarsals. And what you're going to do here is you're going to be smoothing out the, this part of the shoe right here and blending it in. So select the general weights over here. And as you can see, is 
gray, you want to turn this blue and you want to blend blue with the red. So I'm going to start painting now. Well, before I start painting, set this to a higher number. I recommend doing like 70 and set this to like 45. And you're going to want to hold down the control button on the keyboard. And you're going to want to start brushing. Keep holding on the control button and just brush until the whole front of the foot is blue and you blended the, the blue with the red. So doing the whole front. Turn that blue. And now I'm going to blend between the blue and the red to smoothen it out. Because holding down the control smoothens the paint between the red and the blue. So just paint that, just hold down control and paint till that's smooth, smooth. You can't get it perfect, but you could get it good enough. You don't have to try to get it perfect, perfect. So just keep holding down control and just painting it. So this is where the, the foot bends. So you want to smoothen this part between here and this part of the foot. So you're going to want to go to the other side as well because symmetry doesn't always work. So it's always good to right click, go to toes and go to the metatarsals again. And as you can see, it's not blue. So you're going to have to paint that as well. So just hold on control and just keep painting. You see how it's smoothing out there? So just paint until it's all blue in front and blend the middle part. Oops. Seems like I kind of glitched. So I got to select the figure and try to select the uh, metatarsals on the shoe again to get my toolbar back. So just hold down control and keep painting. Get the whole front blue. And then start trying to blend in this part here. Smoothing it out. And then after this is done, we're going to move to the heel. So let me just smooth this out as much as I want it to be. Just blend this part here. Blend this part. And now we're going to move on to the heel and, and make that more stable. Now, to do the heel, you're going to have to select the foot. It used to be in the Genesis 3. The Genesis 3 had a, a heel bone, but they don't have a heel bone in Genesis 8. So you're going to have to apply the heel to the foot itself. And in order to paint the heel, you have to make sure the heel is 100%. You're going to want to paint this 100%. You're not going to be blending anything. So this whole part is going to be 100%. So what I usually do is the sensitivity. I raise the sensitivity up to 100 or to 1. And then I just start painting. So I just see how it just pops out because it's just going 100%. There's no blending going on. So you'll want to make sure the heel is 100% attached to the the foot bone. So just paint all the back parts of the heel. See how it's blue here? You don't want that. Paint all that and make it red. Try to get a little bit underneath there. You don't want to get, <clears throat> you don't want to do all inside here. You just want to do all the back heel part and just underneath there. You can even use a little control to smoothen it a little bit as well if you want. But you want to have that as red as possible. So just paint. I usually paint up to here. Up to this part. And I don't usually mess with any of this light red, bluish red up here. I don't, I don't deal with that. I just try to keep this part down here as red as possible. And now this side looks good. I'm going to go over to the left foot. And do the same thing. Because the symmetry just doesn't seem to work when you put it on anyway. So 
I put it on it's because sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. We just paint it 100%. Just paint it until it's red. You don't want any uh, blue in there on the heel like this right here. You don't want none of that. And try to get underneath there as well. Trying to get in underneath here. And see how this is like a little blue here? You want to get that out and paint. Paint up to that part. Paint up to this part. You could blend this if you want. And uh, that should be it for weight mapping. So weight mapping is done. Okay, now that the weight paint is done, we're going to want to bake the shoes joints. So select the shoe, right click, click edit, bake joint rotations. Now you're going to want to uh, unfit the shoe from the figure. So just go to uh, fit to and click none and click accept. And now you want to delete the Genesis 8 figure. Now we're going to export the shoe and bring it back in. So what you're going to do is uh, select the shoe make sure your mesh resolution is set to base then go to file export then make a temporary file name for your obj because you can delete this later so i'm going to call mine shoe temp update and then i'm going to click save i'm going to leave the setting as das studio 100 percent the rest of the settings can stay the same. Click accept. Now I'm going to uh, import the shoe as a updated OBJ. So you want to go to object, go to geometry, update base geometry. Then you want to select update vertex position from file. Then you want to go click here, select the file. Mine is this side blender. This is my temp file. I could delete this after I'm done, so don't worry about this file. It's just a temporary file for this this prod this steps. So click open, and click accept. You can set this to 100% uh, or Dash Studio. The rest of the settings can stay the same. Click accept. Now you're gonna want to go to currently used, and you're gonna want to zero. The JCM foot down left and right 75. So just click click that zero. Click that zero. Now you're gonna want to uh, load back in the Genesis 8 figure, or you could have hide it before, and just fit the shoe to the Genesis 8 figure, and then you're gonna just want to uh, load your your boot pose or your shoe pose and that's it it's done you've just rigged shoes to a Genesis figure uh, I hope this was helpful to you guys and uh, that should be all